Seeds are nature's miracle, the tiny vessel of life that holds the promise of a new beginning. But let's first understand exactly what a seed is. A seed is a fertilized mature ovule. It possesses the embryonic plant, stored food materials, and protective coats. After fertilization, changes occur in different parts of an ovule and later transform into a seed. The zygote develops into an embryo. The primary endosperm nucleus gives rise to endosperm and the coverings form the protective coats. The seed remains attached to the placenta through a stalk-like structure known as phonicle. The place of detachment of a seed from a phonicle is known as helium. The seed consists of three major parts, that is, the embryo, endosperm, and the tester. The embryo is formed when the male and the female elements are combined during reproduction. This eventually grows into a new plant. The endosperm is a collection of stored food materials that the young plant will use as it grows. The tester is a tough outer layer that protects the embryo and the endosperm from damage by outside factors. Let's take a closer look at the typical seed and its parts. The first one is the seed coat. The seed coat is an outer layer that protects the embryo from external factors. Number two is plumule. It's an embryonic shoot that becomes leaves and stems. Radical. It's an embryonic root that is the first to come out during germination. Number four is the embryo, which contains the future plant with cotyledons for nourishment. Number five is cotyledons, which store nutrients and kickstart growth during germination. Seeds come out in different forms, each adapted to a specific environment. So there are mainly two types of seeds. We have the monocotyledonous seeds, and dicotyledonous seeds. The number of cotyledons distinguishes the different types of seeds. Monocotyledonous seeds are seeds with one cotyledon. They are also called cereals or grains. Examples of monocot seeds are maize, ginger, corn, mango, and rice. Please don't forget that there are many examples of monocot seeds who have just tried to list the few. The cotyledonous seeds are seeds with two cotyledons. And examples of such seeds are, we have the peas, beans, granuts, and so many others. Seeds help in germination of a new plant. Seeds contain food reservoirs in form of endosperm and cotyledons. Most of the human diet comes from seeds. Seeds help to reduce the body weight. Seeds prevent constipation and bloating. They also have medicinal properties that fight cancer and relieve menstrual pains. Chia seeds are one of the examples of seeds that fight cancer. And pumpkin seeds are some of the seeds that are used to relieve menstrual pains. Thank you for joining me on this journey of learning about seeds. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And in case you have any question, drop it in our comment section. See you next time!